welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Kat. We haven't gone to Trader Joe's in forever. I was there the other day and I totally forgot how much variety that they have. There's so many cool snacks and just yummy treats. I would love to know what some of your favorite Trader Joe's snacks are. So if you could leave that in a comment down below, that'll help me prep for my next trip to Trader Joe's. First up, we got this Southern Peach Crisp ice cream. It has peach puree and a buttery oat crisp. That sounds absolutely delicious. We also got these Thai shrimp gyoza that my sister recommended, and these look absolutely awesome. I think what I'm probably gonna try to do is cook them in the air fryer. We've made some really, really good frozen dumplings this way. They get so crispy, you don't need much oil at all. One of our favorite weekend brunch items from Trader Joe's are the hash browns, and believe me, I've tried so many brands of frozen hash browns from other grocery stores, and for whatever Reason, these are the best. They crisp up super easily in the pan. They're nice and flaky. Just follow the instructions on the back to a T and you will be golden. And we heard good things about the lamb vindaloo from our friend Madoff, so I'm excited to try this. It's the lamb and spicy curry sauce with basmati rice. This will be a nice weekday lunch, dinner. So we've heard really great things about the vegan plant-based protein from Trader Joe's. So I am really excited to try this soy chorizo. And it's vegan, it's gluten-free, and it has soy protein. That's the main source of protein. I also got organic tempeh, which I think I've had it a couple years ago, but it wasn't a great experience, but I'm super curious to try it again because I see it a lot online. Okay, I have to show you this. So I actually went to Trader Joe's twice. I just went now and I also went on Friday two days ago. I picked this up on Friday and I really like, we've already eaten about more than half of it, but it's this cashew fiesta dip, which is a cheese dip alternative and the cashier recommended heating it up, which I totally second that. Once you heat it up, it, it's a little bit more grainy than you know a standard cheese dip, but it's so good. And also insert a clip, we actually got this other corn chip that's elotes flavored, and I, I don't have it because I already finished it last night. So this and that go super well together. Produce, we got some arugula, some organic broccoli, Brussels sprouts, which we have some bacon that would go along perfectly with this, so I'm excited to try these. We love Brussels sprouts when they're cooked correctly. And I also got some chopped kale. It's triple raw washed and ready to use. I think this will be super convenient during the weekdays if we want to just quickly saute this. We also got these chickenless crispy tenders. They're made with soy and whole grains and it's vegan. We have been eating a lot of plant-based proteins recently, so I saw these and I wanted to give them a try. Andrew loves crispy chicken tender-ish types of food, so I'll let you know how this goes. Also got some mini cucumbers. Love these in salads, so. I also got some baby Bella cremini mushrooms. When cooked properly with a little bit of butter and soy sauce, ooh. We also got the maple chicken breakfast sausage. These are fully cooked, just super yummy and delicious in the morning with a little bit of eggs. We've been eating a lot of protein lately. We're just getting back into the gym, so eggs are one of the easiest things for us to eat. I also picked up some liquid egg whites, and I did make sure to look at the ingredients list. It just has cage-free egg whites. We tried a couple of other types of things from like Mariano's and it has other additives in there, which I don't love. So I love that these are just egg whites. Baby spinach, hummus. Can't get enough of hummus, so I got roasted garlic hummus. And man, the dip section at Trader Joe's, they have so many different types of things. I'm so curious. I am definitely looking to experiment more with their sauce and like dip section. And Andrew also requested heavy whipping cream, so he's apparently gonna make a cauliflower mash, cauliflower puree. I also picked up a cart of organic large brown eggs. Snacks. So we got just mango slices. These are so good. I usually do not like dried fruit at all, but these are an exception. I could literally snack on these all day. And then I love dark chocolate. So I picked up some 72% dark chocolate chips for my next baking adventure. I picked up a couple of mangoes and this sangria tomato medley. Grape tomatoes or cherry tomatoes. It might be a mix. 
I got two white onions and then a bag of avocados. I also picked up some more baby Dutch yellow potatoes. I picked up some whole wheat pasta. It's a nice, uh, nice little compromise. And this is Fusili.